What's up you guys, Christian here. In this video, we're gonna talk about a reverse pyramid training routine, specifically one that follows a Mike Matthews from Muscle for Life and Legion Athletics. We're gonna follow his style of reverse pyramid training. In a previous video, I talked about comparing two different styles of reverse pyramid training, one specifically from Mike Matthews and the other being from Martin Burkhan from Lean Gain. So I, com I compared the two styles of reverse pyramid training because yes, there's more than one. And I made a video on that explaining both of them. This is diving a bit more deeper into the Mike Matthews style of reverse pyramid training. My next video will be on Lean Gains, diving a little deeper into Lean Gains reverse pyramid training method. So this one again is specifically from Mike Matthews. And in that past video, I talked about beyond bigger, leaner, stronger, because this is where his reverse pyramid training style of workouts come into play. So it is beyond bigger, leaner, stronger, this book right here. I hope you guys can see that. So I have it here. And so this is the second book in Mike Matthews's series of bigger leaner stronger books so he has his first book bigger leaner stronger and this book beyond bigger leaner stronger obviously is like a sequel it builds off of that first book so that means this book is more for intermediate to advanced lifters if you're a beginner or in maybe your first one to two years of training you want to read bigger leaner stronger first i'll leave it on the screen really quick that's basically his first book. That's his best-selling book because it's more widely known because a lot of people have read it. And and yeah, it, it's not until his second book, Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, that uses a reverse pyramid training in a different way than you're probably used to. But again, this is for advanced to intermediate lifters or intermediate to advanced lifters. I fall in the intermediate lifter range. So um, I'm reading this book, however, if you have read Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, in this book, he has some strength standards that like you should hit before reading this book. So in this book, he has different workout routines for three days a week, four days a week, five days a week. So it is pretty accessible to people with different schedules. If you don't know who Mike Matthews is, he's very popular in the fitness space. He's probably one of the only trustable resources in the fitness space nowadays. Um, he believes in heavy compound lifting eating high protein, no BS tactics, and backed by research, workout routines, diet routines, etc. He doesn't believe in high reps, lightweight training. He believes in heavy compound lifting. So how are the Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger reversed pyramid style training workouts set up? So if you see the pyramid on the right here, you see how it's a reverse pyramid, obviously, but it starts off very heavy. So it's something called a power set. Remember, this is for intermediate to advanced lifters, which means if you were a beginner and trying to use this type of weight, which is 90 to 95% of your one rep max, you would there's really no benefit to doing that because you're a beginner and the, the amount of weight used wouldn't be that much. And then moving down from that weight, it, there wouldn't be much weight to move down from, if that makes sense. So this is why it's for intermediate to advanced lifters. Anyways, power sets, you start off the workout, each workout with a power set, two of them, and they are 90 to 95% of your one rep max, two to three reps. So they start off very heavy. So after your power sets, you move on to something called your myofibrillar sets. I can never pronounce that right, sorry. And then you do a number of sets for four to six reps, but this time it's about 80 to 85% of your one rep max. So as you can see, it gets a little lighter in this in these sets, which thus makes it a reverse pyramid training workout. Because as the workout progresses on from the beginning of the workout, the power sets to the end, the sarcoplasmic sets, which we'll, get, which we'll get into in a second, the weight decreases throughout the entire workout. So again, after your power sets, you move on to the myo sets. And if you know what bigger, leaner, stronger is, that's basically what bigger, leaner, stronger workouts is based on is in the four to six rep range, 80 to 85% of your one rep max. That's basically what BLS is. And then after those, 
you move to the end of the workout with your isolation movements. So these are like your bicep curls, your tricep skull crushers, just isolation movements to target one single muscle. So the way this workout is set up from beyond bigger, leaner, stronger is that it hits all types of hypertrophy, which is the myofibular sets and the sarcoplasmic sets. And so if you know anything about hypertrophy, myo is more for strength and muscle gain, while sarcoplasmic builds the fluid in the muscle, technically. Doesn't necessarily make you stronger, but it does make you the muscle bigger. Like if you do a lot of sarcoplasmic sets in your workout, you will definitely notice a pump. So it does build the fluid in the muscle temporarily making your muscles bigger. So if you train a lot in the eight to 10 rep range, you will notice that if you stop training for like a week, you'll become really flat. That's why he recommends training with the myofibular sets, the heavier sets. So like if you don't work out for a week, you'll still pretty much look the same because your muscles are more based off of myofibular hypertrophy. Hope that makes sense. I'm not gonna go too much into that in this video, but that's how basically his, his workouts are set up in both Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger and Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. And then also, this workout scheme is never taken to failure so none of these reps are taken to failure and that will that makes um, if you watch my other video comparing the two styles you know that the lean gains method of reverse pyramid training he takes it all, basically almost always to failure so just something to know so now guys i'm going to go over two reverse pyramid training routines mike matthew styles specifically they are from beyond bigger leaner stronger and they are both a chest and back workout so i'm going to show you these right now this is a reverse pyramid training routine for the chest mike matthews style again i tried to color code them <laughs> so as you can see the purple is the power sets the blue is the myo myofibular sets and then the yellow is the sarcoplasmic sets. so as you can see right here the incline bench press, so that would be part of your power set. Okay, you do two sets of two to three reps of 90 to 95% of your one rep max. And this would, and because this is so, so heavy and it's a lot of weight, you would take four to five minutes of rest in between each set. So once you're done with your first heavy set, you would take four to five minutes and then do your next heavy set. So again, this is the first heavy set. Then once you're done with these, you move on to the myo set. So these are these sets right here. And so the incline dumbbell bench press, three sets, four to six reps this time, and then 80 to 85% of your one rep max. And then you rest a little less because you're not using as heavy as weight. So as you can see, the percent of your one rep max of the weight used in each set throughout the workout decreases, which is why this is a reverse pyramid training style of workout. So you do 90, then 80, then 70. So incline dumbbell press, then the flat bench press. So once you're done with these sets, you move on to the flat bench press in the same rep range. And then once you're done with all that, sarcoplasmic sets, so this, these are these. So eight to 10 reps, 70 to 75% of your one rep max. So dips is next. So dips weighted if possible, depending on how much uh, percent of your one rep max you can do. So that would be two sets, eight to 10 reps, two minutes of rest in between. And then that's your basic reverse pyramid training routine for the chest if you were following a Mike Matthews style from Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. Cool, so the next workout would be the back. So again, I'll try to color code it. So purple being the power sets so 90 to 95 percent of your one or max for deadlifts two sets two to three reps four to five minutes of rest then you have your deadlifts again so he likes to do heavy sets of deadlifts and then move down the weight a little bit and do four to six reps a little bit more reps of deadlifts in the 80 to 85 percent rep range then you go into barbell rows then one arm dumbbell rows. As you can see in this workout compared to the chest workout, he did three sets, so six sets in total for the chest, but only two exercises. He's still doing that here, but just with more, more exercises. So deadlift, barbell row, and one arm dumbbell row. Still only six sets, but just different uh, exercises. You could definitely do three sets here and three sets here, barbell rows, still the same thing. 
he just likes to do it this way. And then your sarcoplasmic sets would be the pull-ups, uh, weighted if possible again, two sets, eight to 10 reps, 70 to 75% of your one rep max. So I hope this helps you see this style of reverse pyramid training. Again, this it goes from your power set to your myo set to your sarcoplasmic set. And so again, the percent of your one rep max, the percent of weight used throughout the workout decreases, which is why it's a reverse pyramid. So if you haven't seen my last video of reverse pyramid training routine for Mike Matthews versus the lean gain style from Martin Burkhan, which is this guy right here, they're both very popular in the fitness space. However, their reverse pyramid training styles are different. I go over that in this video here, which I'll leave in the description below if you're interested. But um, I just wanted to make this quick video diving more into Mike Matthews's reverse pyramid training routine style. And so, yeah, my next video will go more into Martin Burkhan's style. So stay tuned for that. So make sure to subscribe. Um, but thanks for watching this video, you guys. I'll leave both of their books in the description below if you're interested on in learning more. Maybe you want to get this book. It is a good book, so I highly recommend you check that out. But yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.